August 15, 2010. A strange block at height 74638 has just been mined to the network. Over an hour later, this abnormality is noticed by developer Jeff Garzik, who initiates a thread on the Bitcoin Talk forums. The block contains a transaction that has created just over 184 billion Bitcoin, seemingly out of thin air, split between two addresses. The integrity of the entire network had just been jeopardized. This is the 184 billion Bitcoin bug. 1904. A new development thread is started by LFM, sharing initial findings as to the cause. It appeared the attacker had used an integer overflow to make a negative total transaction, allowing them to bypass the economic restrictions via a carefully crafted transaction. Just over an hour later, at 2039, Former Bitcoin developer Gavin Andreessen, having heard the news, follows up, posting a quick fix until something better can be found. Whilst all this was going on, however, the bad chain was growing longer, and there was not much anybody could do to stop it. 2059. Satoshi joins the conversation, sharing their preliminary thoughts and code changes for feedback, as well as asking people to stop mining, stating, We will probably need to do a rebranch around the current one. The less you generate, the faster it will be. We will need to cause a reorg which will disconnect the invalid chain. 2140. The patch is uploaded. Satoshi reiterates Andreessen's words on how to apply the fix and promises to build releases shortly. The final code contains a soft forking change to the consensus rules that rejects output value overflow transactions and applies a hard limit on the maximum of coins that can be sent on the network to 21 million. The plan is clear, to reorganise the chain and remove the 184 billion coins from the network. It also means any blocks that had been mined past this point would be made invalid if successful. The race was now on for miners to upgrade and start building a new chain. Mt. Gox, although operating at this time, does not appear to have suspended withdrawals or deposits, and according to archived market data from this period, the price remained unaffected. It remains unclear if Mark Carpellis, Mt. Gox's CEO and traders at this time even knew what had just transpired, or if the attacker made any attempt to actually sell these coins. Perhaps it had all just been for a bit of fun, there was no malintent to profit. Still, the fight was going on to clean up the mess and restore the network. As more miners upgrade their nodes, in a concentrated effort to resolve the issue, the bad chain begins to slow and the good one begins to close the gap over the coming hours and into the night. A 20% spike in hash rate is seen, breaking 5 gigahash a second for the first time in Bitcoin's history, suggesting participants at this time were going out of their way to turn on extra GPUs and CPUs and point them at the network in an attempt to speed things up. 9.20 on the 16th of August, 16 hours after discovery, the good chain finally takes over, causing a reorg at block height 74691. 53 blocks were overwritten, and 2,650 Bitcoin in mining rewards, valued at around $185 at the time, were reversed from those who had continued to mine the bad chain. The 184 billion Bitcoin bug was resolved, but will remain a fascinating footnote in the history of Bitcoin that has forever left its mark in the code base.